Let us look at another example to calculate the weighted average number of shares. Here is the share profile and the number of shares actually changed across the years. So what we notice that on 1st of January 2007, the beginning balance was 100,000. So after three months, on 1st of April, you know, another 20,000 shares were issued. So there was an increase of 20,000 here. Now on 1st of June, 30,000 were repurchased. So repurchase would mean there's a deduction of 30,000 shares. Then on 1st of October, another 50,000 shares were issued. So an addition of 50,000 shares over and above 90,000 shares. So the outstanding was 140,000. And what we also know is that 31st December, the year end balance was essentially the same. So this, this was same. So nothing happened in between this period. So as we have seen earlier, while we had calculated the weighted average number of shares, it is most useful if we are able to draw a table which consists of date, shares outstanding, then we require the fraction, fraction for the number of fraction during the year, this number of shares were outstanding and finally we require the contribution towards the weighted average number of shares. So these are the things that we require. So let's fill the first one. 1st of January till 31st of March, the total number of shares were 100,000. So we'll write this date 1st Jan till 31st of March. Please note this is March. Okay, so number of shares outstanding here would be 100,000. And the fraction for which these shares were existent, this would be 3 months. So 3 months divided by 12 will be the fraction and the contribution will be just the multiplication of the two. So this would come out to be 25,000 here. Now let's look at uh, the other one. So between 1st of April and 1st of June. So I'll write this as 1st April till 31st of May. Between these dates, additional 20,000 shares were issued. So total number of outstanding shares were 20, 120,000. So I'll write this as 120,000. Fraction is basically 2 by 12. So here the outstanding will come out to be 20,000. Between 1st of June till 30th of September, the outstanding shares were 90,000. Fraction would be June, July, August, September. So fraction is basically four months. That is June, July, August and September. So four months. So this will be four divided by 12. So here this number comes out to be 30,000. And between 1st of October till the very end, 31st of December, the number of outstanding shares were 140,000 and the fraction would be October, November and December. So this is basically three months, three divided by 12. So the contribution here would be one fourth of 140,000. So this comes out to be 35,000. So what we have in terms of weighted average number of shares would be 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 35,000. This would be 110,000. So this is how the weighted average number of shares can be calculated.